Charterman, 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 What's up, you guys? I got a fucking headache, and here I am doing a review on Marvel Legends, uh, not quite Marvel Legends, but Iron Man 2 6-inch Mark V Iron Man. I want to give big thanks to Realistic Videos. Thanks so much for uh, sending me this figure. I really, really appreciate it. Um, as many of you have heard me say before, I don't have any uh, Walmarts close by, so I really appreciate uh, the love I've been getting from the community. Got a solid snake in my pants, hooked me up with the... Boxing Type X sent me um, the War Machine, and Realistic Video sent me this uh, Mark V, which is very cool. Well, let me turn the light on. And, um, yeah, so thanks a lot, Realistic. Uh, link is down there. Um, check her videos out. She actually reviewed this figure as well. Very cool review, so check that out. Um, so, this Mark V um, is actually, you know, it, it really stuns me how much detail they got into this figure. It's really fucking amazing. I really like it a lot. This is a lot of good fucking detail. I really like it. Uh, it has a much shinier paint than the other figures. Um, just compare the paint really quick to, you know, how the Mark VI looks. You can see this has much glossier feel to it. There, Oh, there are some parts where, like, you can see right here on the bicep where some paint wear comes off so I think some of them will have some natural paint wear before you even open it like or on this side of the head like it kinda has this weird look going on compared to this side I don't know if it comes out so well on the camera but um yeah I really see this as the movie version of the Silver Centurion Iron Man you know I know that this is not you know Silver Centurion but you know it's like if you look at the color scheme and everything it's like very much, you know, they have their similarities there, you know what I mean? Um, and this has a very shiny red, too, that's shinier than all the other Marvel Legends uh, Iron Man. But, um, you know, this guy is very dope. I really like the paint apps. Um, I really like the silver that they chose. It's, it's a very cool silver. I, you know, like, if you compare, like, the silver here, it's got, I don't know, kind of like this gr this beige hue going on with it. I don't know how to explain it. But... Anyway, very cool figure. Uh, like the other uh, six-inch figures, he does come with um, extra fists. So each hand gets three different fists. Okay, so here's the other four right here. Um, there's an open palm one. There's the half-closed one, which I guess you could use to hold the briefcase, which doesn't make any sense to me. And then you have the, uh, the fist right here. And another really cool thing that I like about this is if you take... Um, if you compare, see here's the the Mark VI fist, right? Let's see if we can get in there. These are completely different molds. So here, hold on, I'm gonna get really close. There you go. See, you could see that these are different molds. They didn't just repaint these. Each one is different. I really like that a lot. Very slick stuff. But the hands actually kind of look a little big to me compared. I don't know, it's kind of just a little funny looking, but not a big deal. Overall, I like how it looks. Um, I have just two complaints, and that's basically the ankle articulation and the thigh, the upper thigh articulation, which um, I'll just get into right now. Might as well just go over the articulation overall. So the head um, moves back a little bit. Uh, most of these six inch Iron Man 2 figures, the head doesn't really move much, move up much at all, but um, you could can see it like that moves down just fine side to side okay um, unlike the mark six where there's an actual hinge right here with these shoulder flaps it's just attached it doesn't really come off or anything so you can see the plastic just bends up right there which is okay with me he has a ball joint underneath right there okay bicep swivel double jointed elbows um, wrist moves sideways and up and down okay um, <clears throat> Same thing with the other side. The uh, He has this good diaphragm joint, moves side to side and forward and down. It moves forward better than the Mark VI does, which is cool. I still miss the waist articulation. That sucks. None of these have waist articulation. That still bothers me. So like I was saying earlier, it bothers me still how uh, like this flap right here on the thigh kind of keeps it from being able to move up. It kind of hinders it a little bit, and that's bothersome. 
that's a little frustrating but you know not as bad as the ankle double jointed knees and the ankle joints fuck man fuck it doesn't move forward it's it twists side to side but it doesn't move up and down at all that is so frustrating like i could you could see underneath there like i would break the plastic if i really wanted to move it it has no pivot and it doesn't even move once i mean shit dude that like the articulation on the mark 6 for the foot is a little weak but it still moves at least up and down this guy has just been falling over all the time and it's just been really frustrating getting him to stand it, it really sucks especially like when he's standing there for like a little bit and then he just falls over on his own that really fucking pisses me off and if i have the three three quarter inch version of this and this guy has actual actually you know two points where it moves you know so it really sucks to see that the three three quarter inch actually has more articulation in the foot than this one right here so that's pretty fucking frustrating that you know that pisses yeah so here's the the suitcase that it comes with it does not open um i tried opening it but you know it's not going to open feels like it could open you can see it's starting to split like that but you know if you wanted to make a custom out of it i'm sure you could so that's pretty neat i like how it looks it looks better than the three three quarter inch one it's actually kind of funny how big this three three quarter inch one because i think this is in well into scale right here but if you take him right here you put the three three quarter inch it's like damn that looks like a big ass fucking suitcase for the three three quarter inch one right so yeah but um you know the, the overall thing that sticks out for this guy is is the detail in the sculpt i mean you could shit you could you could really look at that all day that's just really amazing i especially like the thing that they did here with this you know they got this spine this vertebrae kind of thing going on in the back i think that's very cool got all kinds of like knobs and stuff back there man that is sweet a leg and everything there's a lot of detail put into this thing so that's the coolest part. Nothing's been redone. The head sculpt is completely different, you know, compared to the Mark VI. It's completely different. This scuff right here brought to you by this motherfucker falling over and knocking this guy over. Fuck, that pisses me off. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, thanks again to Realistic Videos. Very cool figure. There, it's just the, arti the articulation in the ankles just pisses me off a lot. That's all. But, you know, good shit. All right, you guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.